to your brother, Ali. I used to get really mad when they asked this. But now, I have a better way to answer their curiosity. I tell them there's nothing wrong with him. We are all different. One of Ali's differences is that he has autism spectrum disorder. That means that he experiences the world differently from you and me. If they still look at me, I tell the story of our family and how we work together to celebrate Ali's gift and overcome challenges along the way. He loved pouring the sound through the sea. He loved to watch it flow. I didn't notice anything different about Ali. He was just my And I loved playing with him. It didn't seem strange to me that he didn't hear. I could understand what he wanted from the noises and movements he made. As Ali got he often got frustrated if other people more couldn't understand him. When it was so bright and noisy in the supermarket, Ali would start shouting and kicking. Mom got embarrassed because other people were staring. But the noise was just so much for Ali and he couldn't help it. Mom got worried by Ali's meltdowns and that Ali was talking with words. She took him to see a lady who played some with Ali. Then she told mom that Ali had autism spectrum disorder. To start with, mom about what the lady had said. What's the matter, mom? I asked her. Mom was worried that things like going to school would be hard for Ali because of his autism spectrum disorder. could help mom understand how Ali experienced the world and how to support him. A speech and language therapist. He taught mom and Ali how to talk to each other in new ways. Thanks to the speech and language therapist, we have a lot of people around the house. We have a picture timetable that we use. Ali likes it when we do the same thing at the same time each day. He finds changes really hard because he doesn't know what to expect. Ali uses the pitch mom what he wants to do that morning. If it's his coloring or playing with his blocks. Ali's favorite thing to do is famous buildings from around the world. Another therapist helped mom and administrator support his behavior. Mom learned all about the things that like changes or light. She learned how to help so that when we need to make a change, we do it in the best way for Ali and make sure he understands what is happening. Ali really loves seeing real play, which is a calm and relaxing way for him to enjoy textures, lights, and sounds. We also had support from occupational therapists. She helped mom and Ali to get ready for going to school. Mom was quite worried about Ali going to school. She thought he might find it difficult. The occupational therapist taught strategies to help Ali better cope with sights and sounds that he might find difficult at school. She also helped him with attention so he could focus in school. One activity that really helps Ali for school is doing circuits. 